and welcome back to our channel. Ava? Channel. Okay, thanks. I know what you are thinking, Marissa. You look a little crazy right now, and I know, I know, okay? Let me explain. It's been a very crazy past couple weekends because Jose's schedule requires him to work long hours, right? Just me and the kids. Just me and the kids. And Ezekiel has not been feeling good. When Jose gets home, he sleeps because he needs the sleep for the next shift. So this is as good as I'm gonna get right now. Usually I film when the kids are sleeping, but they're awake. Everybody's up right now. Y'all getting a very real raw video today. We had, fed, I fed the kids dinner and now we're gonna make uh, what Jose has requested. It is a comfort meal for him. He has spoke about it many times. I finally have the recipe. Come to find out this recipe is so simple this whole time. That's not marshmallows. That's for my nail polish. <laughs> I eat these. You can't eat those. Let me see. He said, can I have marshmallows? <laughs> Anyways, we were originally supposed to do a video with the kids. I was going to ask them some questions, but I'm going to save that for next weekend again. Zeke's not feeling good. I just don't want to put that on him right now. So we're going to be cooking another meal. Yeah, so basically it's calabaza con pollo. Saying that wrong, you already know what it is. Very simple recipe. Chicken, vegetables, and like a tomato Chicken, sauce. Vegetables. Chicken and vegetables. Chicken and poop. <laughs> chicken, veggie boys and 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 chicken, okay, vegetables and chicken, let's get started, tell them, let's get started, let's get started, Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. The recipe I'm using is pretty much a mixture of my sister-in-law's recipe that she sent over to us and what we googled. Some recipes use strictly tomatoes in their dinner, but I'm going to be using the tomato sauce that his sister suggests. I'm going to try to stick more towards her recipe since this is something that he remembers his family making and I want to recreate that for him. We are going to start with chicken. We are going to be using drumsticks. This is going to be fun. Drumsticks. Okay, I'm gonna be using this pot, so I'm just putting this on the stove for right now. Turning it on to like a medium high heat and pulling out the chicken. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm starting to crash. It's, I'm starting to feel it. This is not your normal cooking video. It's more of just chill, relax. Just let's just chat and cook some food type of video. But I am using these drumsticks. I'm gonna be using both of these. His sister said five pounds, so I figured this was five pounds because she usually uses like a big bag from Walmart. Just season it with salt and pepper and then throw a little bit of oil at the bottom and brown it just a little bit. You want to cook it pretty much through, but we're just browning it right now. Okay, here's my little chickens. This is just one pack. So we're just doing pepper and salt. And then I'm just gonna flip it and do the same on the other side. When I seen how simple this recipe was, he has spoke highly of this meal. But I think it has a lot to do with it being from your family. It just hits different, you know? Okay, so that's pretty much seasoned and then we just throw it in with some oil. Turn it down a little bit, it's gonna start popping. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do like one package at a time just cause they're bigger in size. But the recipe calls for canola oil, but I'm using avocado oil. I've never used canola oil, I'm just not comfortable with it. I'm sure it doesn't make a huge difference. While that's browning, I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning the second pack of chicken with salt and pepper. And then when I start the second pack, I'm also gonna start this tomato sauce that she has said to make. Right now I'm just waiting on the chicken to brown. The chicken's still going, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook the vegetables. It calls for two to three zucchinis, or the Mexican zucchinis. They don't have them here, so we're using regular. Two to three, I'm gonna do three, and rinse these off and just dice them up a little bit. And then the only other thing we have to cut for the vegetables is onion. I bought canned corn online. It said they prefer white corn over just regular yellow corn. So I did grab two cans of the white corn. My sister-in-law suggests using one can. I'm kind of adding just a little bit extra. I wanna make sure he has plenty of comfort food when he wakes up. My 
chicken is brown, so I already started the second batch. Now I'm gonna start the sauce that we're gonna use to put in it. We're gonna need three tomatoes, two jalapenos, half an onion, and one garlic clove, and we're boiling all of that together. The chicken is still cooking, but since we're gonna be using canned corn and we're making a sauce, I'm gonna drain this corn. White corn with natural sea salt. Our veggies are soft that we just boiled, so we're gonna add them to a blender. Really big tomatoes. I'm gonna do two and a half cups since it's right in between. So two and a half cups of water. We're doing oregano. We just pulled the chicken out. It's a little bit quieter now. Just a few dashes. Chicken bouillon. About two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons. And then you blend. Same problem we made the chicken, we're gonna throw in our veggies. So the squash, onion, and corn. And we're gonna saute it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil just to make it saute a little better. And my sister-in-law also seasons her veggies with salt and chicken bouillon again. I'm gonna leave it as it is. They've gotten soft, they're not brown, because I'm gonna go ahead and add the sauce in it and the chicken. I'm gonna let it simmer for like 20 minutes. She didn't mention simmering it, but some of the videos I've watched, they do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. When she adds in the sauce, she does do one can of tomato sauce. Just one of these smaller tomato sauce cans, because this is a lot of sauce that we're putting in already, and mix it up. She does mention adding salt and pepper. I'll do the salt here in a little bit. I wanna let it kind of simmer. I just want it to be too salty. Ooh, that has a good flavor. I could do a little bit of salt. Now look, that should be good. Okay, now I'm gonna toss in the chicken. Chicken is to preference. I know that some people use chicken breast so you get the little pieces of chicken in there. Jose's family uses drumsticks, so I'm gonna stick to that. I've never had this recipe, so I'm not too sure exactly how it's supposed to taste. Okay, all the chicken fit. So I'm gonna throw a lid on this and let it simmer for a good maybe 20 minutes on like a medium low. Okay, I just went upstairs to go wake up Jose so he could try his food. Looks like something you'd eat with rice. I know you eat it with corn tortillas, some people do, but Jose said when they ate it, it's just by itself. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna get him a bowl. There it is. <laughs> hey, baby. Mom, I made you this. Oh, thanks, Mom. Has legs. Thank you, buddy. Does that look right? Let's try it. It smells like it's supposed to smell like it. <laughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> I tell you what, dude. Oh, look, Smiley. <laughs> It's good, bro. Tastes just like it's supposed to taste like. I mean, not to the T. Because your dad just uses just tomato sauce. That might be just it. I don't know. But it tastes great. Maybe next time I'll do just the tomato sauce. You it can tastes try it great. Just woke up. <laughs> no. I've never seen it this soupy though. i seen one recipe where they didn't add no sauce. It was just the chicken and veggies. So oh, I guess it's just preference. That's good, bro. Sure. Thank you. You did great. <laughs> and to top it off, Carito. a four dollar one. This right here, guys, eight dollars. These two, eight dollars. Where'd you get these from? The food truck. What do you get your food? Eight out of ten. I eight make... because of the flavor. Yeah. It's great. A little bit too soupy, but like not exactly to the T that I remember. But it's still great. Okay, so next time you know I, mean? I make it, I won't do the two to three cups water i'll just do just the boiled veggies and the tomato sauce okay okay guys that's it for this week's video next time less saucy and jose literally just woke out of bed like straight from bed downstairs just to try the soup no so you can call it a soup because it looks like soup to try the meal for you guys so eight out of ten too soupy next time less water eight but out of Eight out of ten. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys on next week's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Next week's video, if everything is good, will be the kids answering questions. AJ looks like he's getting down with whatever Ezekiel has. Might be a long week. Y'all pray for us. Y'all have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you guys on the next week's video. Bye. Bye.